it's not completely painted yet you see you can still see a little bit of background from the rim so the layers are still very thin at this point but I feel more confident into painting closer because we already have a good thin layer underneath that will bond the paint and won't drip there we go we have about two more layers before we do our last finishing layer now we're gonna start our sixth layer have a good amount they say it lasts for two rims however we do have a good half amount here so we're doing good and we are on our seventh coating so at this point we want to make the coatings a little bit thicker to get that shine that for example plastic it doesn't give you There we go, and now we're gonna do a zoom on this shot. Remember to mix very well. gonna do our last auto deep coating we're gonna do a thicker layer make sure we get it all over they look pretty good by now but they're missing a little bit of coating on the sides I'm gonna overlay the coatings a little closer
and there you have it okay welcome back now we're gonna clean all the overspray on the back of the rim um, the reason we didn't mask it is because we wanted a two-tone for this uh, uh, vehicle and we were going to have to polish the back part of the rim anyways so we, di we didn't take the time to mask it but you can mask it and it'll make your world your job easier or I mean unless you want to paint it as well that's another option How easy it is to clean this. We use a little bit of solvent. Okay, we've cleaned the rim, now we're gonna polish it. We're gonna polish it with a very fine fiber cloth, a little bit of brasso. Gotta let the product do its own thing. Now we're gonna show you how easy it is to remove the unwanted coating on the tire and that's the reason we put so much tire dressing so that it doesn't bond to the tire. And the rest we can just remove with a wire brush. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the rims auto dipped. They're a bit dusty. I don't want to touch them yet. And we're gonna look at the emblem. 